Hey what's up guys this is Sandip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 11 and Manjaro so let's get started. Open your web browser and search for Manjaro. Then click on downloads from the search result and download your preferred desktop environment. I'm going to download GNOME. I'm going to download the minimal version of GNOME for the quick installation. After that, open another tab and search for Rufus and download Rufus in order to make Manjaro bootable pen drive. Now insert your pen drive which is more than 4 GB and please take a note that this pen drive will be formatted so please make a backup of your pen drive before proceeding. Now open Rufus and follow my steps to make bootable pen drive of Manjaro installation. This is going to take some time so I'm just going to skip this process. After that close Rufus and right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now select any large local disk and shrink volume of about 30 GB or more. After that close disk management and restart your computer and while your computer is turning on press F2 key to enter BIOS setup. Now go to security tab and disable secure boot and in some laptops you need to set administration password to disable secure boot so please make sure to do that as well. After that press F10 key to save and exit by setup and now while your computer is turning on press escape key or F12 key to enter boot menu and select USB pen drive from that option. Choose boot with proprietary drivers if you have Nvidia card else you need to select boot with open source drivers. Also, I suggest you to check out Manjaro and test everything before installing. Here, you need to be very careful and you need to select manual partitioning. Now click on the free space which we created from windows and select create. Now give it a size of 300 MB and select file type as FAT32 and give it a mount point of slash boot slash EFI. I am creating a separate EFI partition for this installation because sometimes windows update can mess up your Linux bootloader so it is safe to install it on a separate EFI partition. Now click on remaining free space and click on create. Now I am going to give the file type as ext4 and on the flag you need to select root flag and mount point as root.
you can also create a swap partition before creating root partition if you have less than 4 GB RAM but that is totally optional so you don't have to do it now give it a username and a password Now make sure everything is ok and the partition layout is correct then click on install. Now this is going to take some time so I am going to skip this part. Now after the installation is complete you need to check restart now and then click on finish. Now it will automatically boot into Manjaro drop menu and you, you will be able to switch between operating system during startup. Now this menu will show up every time you turn on your computer. I am going to select Manjaro OS because I just installed it. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful and also consider leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.